I came to the United States as an immigrant from Lima, Peru. I was brought here to this country by my family, by my parents. Uh, my parents had everything in Lima, Peru. My dad was a very big accounting professional for one of the biggest furniture stores in Peru, in Lima, and had it all. We had beach houses. We had uh, vacation homes. We had three uh, maids. Uh, we had technically the life that you could dream of, right? But in the 80s, I was born in 1982, there was a lot of terrorism in Peru, and my dad saw no future in the near future for us there. So he took me and my three brothers, my two brothers, which was three of us now, and we came here to the United States, straight into Florida, straight into Florida. Oh, we've been here since I was seven years old in 1989 and went from having that life to then just starting from scratch, starting brand new in a country that they did not know. We had visited, you know, Disney World, the whole nine yards, but did not know what we were getting into. And coming from having all that to starting from zero, my parents didn't speak a word of English and went straight into first job they can get, which is cleaning an office building, a whole entire office building. For those who are in the Orlando, Florida area, it was the Barnett Bag building as the SunTrust and then Thomas Truist, who knows where it's at. But my parents did that for over five to six years to give a better life to me and my brothers. And here we are, fast forward about 15 years later, I was an entrepreneur back in when I was 21 years old, uh, married to the love of my life, uh, Gia. We started, again, the entrepreneur journey very young. Uh, I was 21. My wife was 20, uh, 20 years old and ended up having uh, some T-Mobile stores with uh, my brother, Yuri. Um, we had uh, 36 T-Mobile stores. I owned three of them and just started our entrepreneur journey working for ourselves from a very young age. Definitely taught us to be 200% the best version of ourselves, okay? And fast forward there, got into real estate back in 2006, and the rest is history. We're here in 2022, uh, 16 years later, straight into the real estate business, and all my real, uh, real estate professionals out there, wherever you're in the industry, I uh, definitely can connect with you on, on a heart-to-heart -heart level, but we know that entrepreneurship lies within us, and whoever's listening to us, that you just own your own business, uh, you're a young professional, you're hustling out there, I can relate to you. And this 200% Life podcast is exactly that for you. I want to just give you as much information that has helped me throughout my uh, almost 20 years as being an entrepreneur that has helped me. All the tips, all the tricks, everything that I can give to you that's uh, very important. So I am a real estate broker, like I mentioned before, and we are growing uh, tremendously in the last 16 years almost 150 agents, five locations throughout Florida. And we're very excited because we're kind of outside the box. You're more than welcome to look us up at GWR Properties, uh, either in Instagram, Facebook. Uh, but we're kind of like that modern lifestyle, LA, New York, Miami, bringing it here to Central Florida and, and beyond. So we have definitely been thinking outside the box on how, how we can do things different. So, but that's a little bit about me. I have two beautiful young children, uh, again, married to the love of my life, Gia, and we have uh, settled our roots here in the Orlando area, but we travel all the time. We have offices, like I said, in all over the, the state. For us to be able to grow and expand and meet new individuals that can be a benefit to our organization and we can be a benefit to them is definitely a passion that we have, okay? So now, now it's a little bit about me. Let's talk about the 200% life. What does that mean? 200% is something that I adapted a few years ago. I'm going to say about five, six years ago. And it just kind of stuck to me. Um, you know, people know me as a 200% guy. Aside from the pompadour hair that you see here, or you don't see here if you're not watching on YouTube. And the suits, that's me, okay? 200% just brought something new to me, clicked something that I wanted to share with this world, okay? And what is the 200% life? The meaning of that is just not doing things at your capacity. It's going above and beyond, doing things that people are not expecting you to do and working at double the drive, double your potential, doing above and beyond what your, your self calls for, okay? Being outside the norm. Being outside of the box of what in your industry or your peers or this world has boxed you in and just saying, I'm not going to stay in that box. I'm going to perform a double what I can do. And when I adapted that, it gave me the potential to do the things that I never thought I could do. Okay. 
that does definition again 200 means to do more do more do more okay and then go to sleep and wake up and do it some more all right it's a mentality that you have to adapt on a daily basis 200 is a mindset 200 is an action 200 is results okay and that's something that you have to make a decision whether you're just starting out in business Again, a shout out to my young professionals. I've been meeting a lot of young professionals, 18 years old, 20 years old, 21 years old. I wish I knew some of these things that I have picked up along the way at that age in time. Uh, but I want to encourage everybody, no matter your age, no matter your industry, regardless of what you have performed in the past, and today you want to make a decision to do things better for yourself, that's when 200% kicks in. Again, it's a mindset. It is action. It is results. It is results. 